Now, the Premier League don't give you all the stats, and we've got a brand new stat here for you on what's he doing. What's he done? I'm Cole. I'm sure. Now, the stat that we're going to give you is who's at fault for each of these goals. It's all well and good knowing who's going to score, who scored it, who assisted, but who's at fault? Who's the reason it went in, Sean, on the other team? We're going to get into these. First up, Newcastle, West Ham. This one's obvious. It's coup foul. He gives away a penalty. Nice and easy. There's a couple of rules here at 48 hours. If you give the pen... You get the fault. Coup foul. Don't kick Gordon. He works He works for England. I mean, technically. <laughs> and Isak buries it. It's an easy one for me. So the second goal is almost as easy, but not quite. It's not one of the three testaments of what's he doing. What's he done? It's Emil Kraft, and he plays Antonio on side, just forgetting about the whole offside trap that they're trying to play. And then he just gets blitzed for pace. He looks embarrassed. Yeah, he's not wrong. And then the third goal is Livramento. Almost exactly the same. Bowen twisting him up. He's out there on the wrong side as well. Livramento is supposed to be on the right-hand side, Sean. And he's just switched over to the left. That's where Dan Byrne's supposed to be. And as always, dangerously out of position. Newcastle need to sort this out. Guess what, Carl? What's that, Sean? He's at the double. Double, double. Livramento, mate. You were way better at Woodcote. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got no idea where he should be. Yep. He's so used to playing right back that even when he's the only man back from a corner... He just drifts over to the right yeah. and he leaves Bowen wide open. Well, the next one again is really easy for me because if you give the pen... You get the fall. Calvin Phillips, it's not your season, mate, is it? You're just just there, just not having any impact. And if anything, getting on this list far too much. He's just kicked him. You guys already know what's going to happen here. Get in the bin, get on the list. Worst loan signing of all time. Indeed. And up next is Mavropanos. And he just drifts forward and creates space for Barnes who just runs in behind and scores a simple goal. That's it. And then just to put the sword to West Ham, David Moyes, you're on borrowed time because you went from 3-1 up to 4-3 down. And guess what, Sean? What? It's Calvin Phillips on the double. It's a double-double. Two in one game being on the double. Liveramento and Calvin Phillips. What an absolute shambles of a game. But what a game at the same time. 4-3, Newcastle, West Ham. We move straight on. Bournemouth versus Everton. Sean, who is up first? Tarkowski. He sort of tried to jump, and then I don't know if Pickford said something, or maybe even Solanke said something, but he jumps and then just ducks out of his own jump, which, I mean, leaves a free header for Solanke, who's... He just cancels his own jump after he jumps. Yeah. Solanke taps it in. Too easy. What are you doing? Lack of communication. Hmm. The next one's quite a similar goal, Sean, because it's more jumping, keeper comes out, Neto tries to get Beto, Beto gets it past Neto. Mepham, what are you doing? What have you done? Don't foul your own keeper. Very simple. All right, Seanus, who got the next one? Well, one of those testaments I was talking about. Mm -hmm. If you score an own goal, you're obviously at fault. Obviously. Right. What other option do I have? Coleman. What a pleb. Exactly. You guys can see who did this. We move on. The actual definition of what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, it's Tottenham versus Luton, and we all thought they'd do it again. But did they? They didn't. Pedro Porro got beat for being too weak by Carlton Morris with a strong old screen, giving Chong chance to smash Luton into an early lead, but surely it didn't last. It did not. No. Because guess what? We're back to the Testaments. Yep. Get me a shirt that says, what's he doing Testaments? <laughs> because Issa Kabore, I mean, the speed that he scored this own goal. I mean, he smashed his great finish. K Kaminsky had no chance. <laughs> straight at him, straight under him, straight in his own net. Kabore, what you did? What have you done? And for the final goal of this game, Hashioka, unlucky deflection, got to work harder on leg day to beef up those blocking pins because if it's going to hit your leg and then still go, you've got to make sure that someone's there to stop it. Now, neither of us really want to talk about Chelsea versus Burnley because we were both seething on the uh, the live stream that we did there on the channel here at 48 Hours. But uh, Sean, who's up first? Asignon. What has he done? He's given away a penalty. Testament shirt. Has he given away a penalty? It's soft for me. It's very soft. soft. I've seen this a lot not given. Yeah. And he does kind of just run into Mudrick. Mm. But it's off the ball and it's soft as anything. Yeah, but I think... And then a red card as well. The matter is if he doesn't, if, if Asinion's not there, mm. Mudrick has a chance on goal. Fair enough. Either, anyway, you guys can see that it's a penalty. He's clearly at fault. We can move straight on. But whether or not it was a pen is for a higher power like Didn't the PGA. Didn't matter that well. wasn't there. No, uh, it didn't matter because we only concede screen with Sean. We love it. The next goal, he comes back from what injury? I mean, nah. Who? It's just not been playing a lot. Right. Cullen. Yep. Cullen comes back, starts for his team, and then a no fault screamer straight past us on the volley. 
We only concede screamers or players' first goals, and this was both. It's really frustrating. There's no one at fault for this goal. doesn't matter who's in the way. Badia Shile could do a little bit more. Caicedo on the stretch, nothing really they could do. It's not bias. We've just got to be fair. What are you doing? No one's done anything wrong. And now climbing up the Ahmed Hodds list, Dar O'Shea. He stepped up to Sterling when he should have stepped back from Sterling mm -hmm. because he stepped up out of a defensive line that was quite solid throughout the game. And Sterling's somehow managed to actually look good for once. Flicked it round Dar O'Shea. Palmer's just slotted it in the corner. Yeah, it's a great goal, great finish, great assist. And he's not wrong, Dar O'Shea should be doing a lot better here. Should be a lot tighter to his man. And that's something if you you guys play football, you'll get that you're supposed to stay tight on the man you're marking and not give him enough space to just flick it around you so easy. That's the opposite of what I said. Exactly. Shouldn't have been tight as well. Shouldn't have been. No, because no, he went, he went to get tighter and then got flicked. Oh, never stepped mind. out of his solid defensive line. All right, now the next one's frustrating because Chelsea should have had this in the bag. This is a 10-man Burnley side struggling for points and they managed to pick one up at Stamford Bridge. Petrovic, what are you doing? What have you done? You've just, if you, all you've got to do is catch. I don't care if you parry the ball. I don't care if you slap the ball. I don't care if you push it up in the air. I don't care. Just don't carry us it. We don't need this kind of aggravation. This was supposed to be so easy. And Madueke is lucky it wasn't on him because he lost his man. But at the same time, Petrovic, what are you doing? Three game ban for you as far as I'm concerned as a Chelsea. What have you done? Forrest versus Palace. Sean, who's up first? Nico Williams. How so? Well, his clearance is awful. Mm -hmm. It's into a very highly contested Crystal Palace area. And then his attempt to tackle Eze, mm -hmm. not very good. And his attempt to block Mateta's shot, awful. Yeah, it's so, almost a trio in just one go. So, um, yeah, he gave the ball away. He didn't get on the right side of Eze and he missed the block. Nico Williams, what are you doing? What have you done? And then Sean's favourite to draw it 1-1 and the only two goals in this game. Anderson lost his man in the box and Chris Wood with a cheeky headed. Sponsored by the National Lottery because that is one of the luckiest finishes I've ever seen. Is winning the lottery luck? It's pure luck. Is it? Yeah. Does it not take skill? No, all chance. Chance. Exactly. Chance Elise. Swiftly moving on to Sheffield United versus Fulham. And guess what? Fulham were tossing this game away. No. Nah. <laughs> Get it? Because tossing. Adarbaya is at fault for the first goal. How so? Okay, Bassi leaves Diaz in the box. Yeah. Like, just leaves him. That is Berenton Diaz, not Louis Diaz. He just abandons him in the box, but Tosin does pass the ball to McBurney, mm. which um, is more of a fault than Bassi's reckless abandonment of the Chilean called Ben. So Tosin's given the ball away and that's it? Yeah, it's harsh. It's like a 50-50 and, um, you know... Yeah, but giving the ball away is more of a mistake. Four's bigger than three, so Tosin, you can have it. Okay, and then Souza, why are you flinching on your man? <laughs> Paulinho is there with an easy header, dinks it straight over, and you're there just with the flinch. Just, oh. Is the header easy? That's an easy one, yeah. You just got to dink it over everybody. Now, I'm not against arguing with refs, mm -hmm. but when it's going to cost you a goal, Castagne, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. You know, sometimes the ref deserves to be yelled at because mm. they're not doing their job well. But, um, yeah, Castagno is too busy mouthing off at the ref and the ball just gets played straight into his flank where he should be. And McBurney goes. <laughs> well, that one was an easy one. The next one's just as easy as well. Bassi has to get to it. It goes clear over his head for this next goal. He's coming in there for the defensive header and he just doesn't get to it. Leaves it open. It's an easy tap-in. What's well, Idris Elba's favourite fish? I don't know. Bassy. Bassy. <laughs> Dead. It's better than the loan joke. What about the next goal, Sean? No Is fault. It? No fault. No for this fault. One. Get interrupted. No fault. Deckard Dover Reed. 18 seconds he was on the pitch. Mm -hmm. Took one touch. Bang. Bottom Spray left. Mark. Two players jumping in between. Keepers dive to save it. There's nothing you could do. Love to see it. And then another guy that's in great form at the moment is Muniz. And Ra, Holgate, back from suspension, back on the list. Fairy jump as well. Sean, this one was hilarious. Should have kicked him in the hip. What's he done? What's he doing? <laughs> Set it the wrong order. Oh, no. Now, two goals at Villa versus Wolves. Sean, this is a double, isn't it? <laughs> Tommy Doyle, mate, if you ever want to get into that Man City team you're on loan from, this isn't going to help you. Just flinging your legs about in the box. Sure, it's unlucky, mm. but he just flings a leg at the cross, falls to DRB, who hits it first time into the... Like mid mid of the goal. Saar could do better, but, you know, one of the other commandments 
if there's someone else to blame, can't blame the keeper. Correct. So Doyle, you're at fault. Doyle, what are you doing? What are you done? And what have you done again? Because you're on the double. <gasps> it's double, double, Doyle in trouble. Just gets dispossessed too easily. It's a bad day for Doyle. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Who did he get dispossessed by? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, United versus Brentford. This man's got such an unfortunate name. No. And he's so lucky <clears throat> that we would not get paid if <laughs> if I said what it rhymes with. <laughs> I'm sure you'll you'll figure out when I say his name. Zanka. Um just a bit chaotic in the box for yeah. me. Late on, everyone's just trying their best, I guess. And then um I had to go and break my heart and have mount score. But Zanka's just watching it all happen. Mount taps the badge. He, he did what you would have done and just watched Mount do his job. A single tear <laughs> rolled down my cheek when Mount tapped the Man United badge. Well, a tear rolled down every Manchester United fan's face as well when Martinez got shown exactly how to play football by an Englishman who's just come back from a betting scandal. Cheeky Ivan Tony. He needs to get his assist. And then it's a six-yard tap-in. I mean, you could have given this to Casemiro or you could have given this to Martinez. But Martinez, you're the centre-back. should be doing a lot better. And now because there were no goals in the Man City versus Arsenal game, this brings us to our final game for this week's What's He Doing? What's He Done? Which is Liverpool versus Brighton. And there's only three goals to worry about. Man, who would have thought the two most boring football clubs in the world, <laughs> Arsenal and Man City, wouldn't score against each other? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's not a little pact going on there at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Either way, Sean, who's up first for Liverpool? Okay, he's having the best season of his career. I get it. Van Dijk. The little nudge you give the ball straight to Danny Welbeck. It's early in the game. Top assist. It's early in the game. So <laughs> I'd understand if you're a little bit like off your game, just a just a little tap that you're giving it instead of just walloping it. But um, yeah, straight to Welbeck, who is playing like he still plays for United. He's playing like he's in his prime. Uh, doesn't matter though, Sean, because Veltman is going to copy Virgil and he's going to assist Diaz. Veltman's back! Veltman's on the list. Wow. Where does that put him now? If I sort by latest, <laughs> he's like, well, low. <laughs> Yeah. He hasn't had one in ages. Yeah, well, Veltman, what are you doing? We done. For the longest time, he was reigning Brighton champion for faults. Mm -hmm. And then someone had to go and take over, didn't they? Dunk. Dunk. Usually, you're running back to your own goal <laughs> line. This time, you've just fled. <laughs> you've run away from your own defence. And um, that leaves space for Salah to be played in by McAllister, who had probably the best game I've ever seen anyone have. Mm -hmm. He was on fire, just didn't score. Yeah, well. And then Salah, one out of 14 is not bad, I guess. <laughs> Just tucks it in. But All right, no... guys, that brings us to the end of this week's What's He Doing? What's He Doing? Where we bring you this unknown stat that Premier League just doesn't give you. Sean? If you like the video, like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and drop your comments on who you think is at fault for all these goals as well. See you next time.